And... Hi, everyone. I That pointing dance I don't ever do in normal world. <laughs> that is, um, that's like how my, my wife does do this when she Yeah, dances. I'm going to bring it back. I like it. Yeah. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the British American experience. Uh, luckily, not a dance show. No, <laughs> not even not even a little bit. No. Uh, so tonight, um, everything you see is going to be entirely improvised. Uh, and the show is basically just gently poking fun at the many differences in our two cultures. And I think the more we do the show, the more we discover how little we truly understand each other. <laughs> Um, Brian, just a disclaimer here, how much do we really know about any of these things? Um, I know about as much as I can Google. Yeah, same. <laughs> That's, I um, know as much as someone who grew up in a village with like 20 houses in it knows about yes. Britain. Yeah, those yes, are our disclaimers. Um, <laughs> I, I, I can say, I don't want to spoil, but later we will be doing presentations and all the information in my presentations is from the first, second, or third result when I Googled the term value. <laughs> Stick around for that, everyone. <laughs> um, so I think let's get started. So can I yes. please welcome onto screen the British cast? Thank you. Oh, here they are. Lovely. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Hello, hello. Uh, so I'm very happy to, to uh, introduce <clears throat> Vanessa. Hello. Very nice to see you all. Hello. 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 Uh, and hello. Dan. Fisher, Dogger, German Bite, Moderate Improvising, Stronger Later. <laughs> <laughs> and Ryan. <laughs> this is the BBC News at 10. I'm not Fiona Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, British cast. Oh, and I'm Sarah. <laughs> I, I, before I bring on the American cast, I have to ask Dan, because, or Ryan, I mean, this is a, a very uh, a touch point of the show. How was the water for your tea heated up? Oh, mm. um, I, I can't think of any way that it would not be a side from a kettle. So a kettle. Thank you. I, I'm on your side on this. Uh, the, for, <laughs> the former host is a heathen. Um, and yeah, he, he, uses he thinks a microwave. Of... What? That's why he that's why he's gone. Yes. <laughs> and, and with that, can I please welcome the American cast on? <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Eagles and everything. I am Brian, and I'd like to welcome Kale. Uh, hey, y'all. Uh, glad you could be here. Uh, you're welcome for rock and roll and uh, the internet and improv. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> Melly. Hi. It's like totally pumpkin spice latte season. <laughs> so I'm on my fourth one today. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Boy. Thank you, Cast. <laughs> um, so our very first uh, game that we're going into is a translation game, which is one of my favourite ones. Um, so we will see a scene uh, to start with in a really traditionally American setting. Uh, and then some of the British cast are going to come on and try and seamlessly uh, reenact that very same scene. Uh, so to start with, um, Brian, did we have a nice American location we could use for I, this? I, I... I think this will be fun. Okay. A youth sports tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing youth sports tournament. So um, Ryan and Vanessa watch this carefully and Brian and Millie, uh, you are going to start, please. My, my, my kid's number seven. Okay. I just I'm really glad that your kid is number seven, but I cannot find the orange slices. I packed the cooler full of them because that is a healthy snack. Yeah, and I hit them because these kids are not gonna make the pros if we're giving them orange slices. I know, I know three of them are still wearing diapers out there, but you know what? They gotta learn eventually. Excuse me? Yeah. Uh, I think it's really important that we think about their bodies more than this competition. Are you one of those kind of uh, oh, tournament parents? I think I think about their bodies. My kid was up at four a.m. lifting and what? changing the <laughs> he, he rotated the tires on my car because I want to cross train him. Yes, oh. he's three and a half. But you know what? You know who <laughs> you know who isn't going to make the pros? The three and a half year olds who slept with blankets. 
<laughs> this isn't even a pro tournament. They get a participation award. No, like you said, no, this I is broke them. Fourth. I broke them all. I broke them all. <laughs> and these so, kids are not getting. They're not getting rewarded until they become professional athletes and get college scholarships, first college scholarships, then professional athletes, and then they buy me a house and cry on TV. And then I insane. yell at them. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's get Ryan and Vanessa on to see what the British equivalent of this is. That's that, That's my child there in, in, in the number seven jersey and, and the little blue shorts. <laughs> um, great, fantastic. I'm, I don't know where I've put the gazpacho. <laughs> gazpacho we shouldn't be thinking of gazpacho i i've i've given a load of the monster munch just before the game started <laughs> you're giving them monster munch there's no vitamins in monster munch there are in gazpacho i can't believe you I, are you I, one I mean, of those parents that just give their your their kid everything they want i mean these child these children are barely out of nappies some of them are still in nappies we can't we can't just <laughs> Feed them cold soup and hope that everything's going to be for the best. There's a competition, okay? There's a competition and they need to be at their best. Well, I just think if we gift one of them a wooden spoon, then they'll all be very happy at the end of it. <laughs> Each their own, they say. I mean, it's not like they're going to end up in the Commonwealth Games or something, is it? Um, or be able to make any money unless they're doing football. Um, and we all know what we mean by football. Yes, <laughs> but you know, we don't talk about all those nights out. Yes, no we they don't. enjoy, no. And scene. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, now, if I could have Dan on with me, and could we please have Brian a suggestion of a very British location? Yes, a city park. A city park, okay, thank you. Um, well, I'll tell you what, mate, like the dog is just going to run and I'm just going to sit here and have my fag and drink my special brew. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. Well, well yeah. it's all right for you, but yeah. what if it bites a child? Do you know what? If it bites a child, I'll get famous. That's true. Yeah. You will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will. You'll yeah. be on all the tabloids. Yeah, I know. It would be wicked, the wouldn't it? Woman with the biting dog. <laughs> with the biting dog, yeah. Uh, do you want to, um, you, can you go up the offie for me and get me a couple more cans of special brew and some fish and chips? All right, but as long as long as I get the dough to, you know, get myself a little something as well, if you know what I mean. Do you know what, mate? I think you'll be all right. I put a monkey on the 224 coming in last at Epson last week and I just got to go up the bookies and get it and then I'll have so much money we can get loads and loads of chips. Oh, loads of chips. Yeah. 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 With a pickled egg. A pickled egg, yeah, and a pickled gherkin. Oh, that yeah. there ain't many people I get a pickled gherkin with, but you, my friend, you've always said you like my pickled gherkin all the way down. <laughs> so uh, yes, there's, uh, we're now going to see that scene translated over to America with <laughs> Millie and Kale. <laughs> You know, I don't care what the sign says. I'm just going to let my dog run all over this park and drink my White Claw. <laughs> you know, the, the dogs are barking so much, I can't even hear you. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to tell you, I do got something to say. My mama always said, don't say nothing <laughs> unless you got something uh real to say and this is real what i'm getting ready to tell you all right all right if your right. dog bites my dog well there's going to be trouble i have a gun in my car and i of have course. on me and I have one in my hat <laughs> of course you have that many guns why wouldn't you have that many guns oh my goodness this is america we all have guns honey i've got three in my purse <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm sorry we got off on a bad foot here uh you know what? You what? Would you help me light my vape pen? Could you? Uh, could you light my vape? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, know, you. I think. I think my problem is while I stare and watch the dogs. Can you? Uh, can you run to Popeyes and get that? Uh, that chicken sandwich. I'd really oh, like a chicken sandwich. You not. You're not going to talk to me about Popeyes chicken sandwich. 
Because it ain't better than a Chick-fil-A Chick-fil-A sandwich. It ain't better. Don't. I, I would like to remind you how many guns I have just in my purse alone. <laughs> <sir. laughs> oh, that was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. <laughs> and, and great beard, right? Yes, Ooh, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, so majestic, one moving. might say. <laughs> it was so majestic. Yeah, we're going to move on to... I said the last was my favourite section, but maybe this is because it involves PowerPoint presentations. Oh, yes. <gasps> so important. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Sarah and I have uh, conspired to come up with a topic, which we do every month, um, mm -hmm. weeks in advance, much weeks. preparation, uh, meetings, focus groups. Um, and this month's theme is fall activities, um, because it's fall. Yeah, what's <laughs> fall? I don't know. You're going to find out. <laughs> yeah, so uh, and I'm first this month, right? Yes. Uh, no, I am, I think. Yeah. Oh, you are. Then I'm going away. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I am going to share my screen and I'm going to tell you my presentation about fall traditions. Uh, and then the American <laughs> cast will come on and do some long form inspired by my presentation. Um, so, oh no, spoilers, look. Uh, all I can say is good luck, American cast. Um, so here we have British fall traditions. Um, I don't know what that means, but I am a person who falls over a lot. Uh, so I thought I'd talk about that. Uh, so I once fell over in the street by work. And when I looked down, the reason that I'd fallen over is because I'd slipped in this. We can't see your We can't see, you can't see it. Oh, my goodness. This is so for the, sad. For the first time, you didn't ask. I didn't so... go. Can anyone see my screen? OK, let's try it again. Could you just see my face the whole time? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's really exciting. Oh, there we go. Hey. Well, can you, oh, can you, but you can't see my presentation now, right? Not yet, no. <laughs> have I definitely got permission to share? You should, yeah, because you shared there. You, you have my permission. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe actually then, Kale, could you, sorry, Kale, um, Brian, if you go first and do yours, I'll just okay. sort it out because I wonder if I've done something wrong. Okay. All right. Yeah, so cool. I Thank will you. come back on and go first. All right. I'm going to share mine. There it is. Okay. Um, so I am going to uh, talk about one of America's great traditions, which is uh, tailgating. <laughs> um, and if you're not familiar, tailgating is uh, an activity where people eat, drink, and enjoy merriment uh, before usually a sporting event, usually football, but it is in other parts of the culture. Too. Um, whoops, hold on. A uh, few, few facts about the history of tailgating. There, your camera's still on. There we go. Um, according to National Geographic, tailgating started in the Civil War, where people <laughs> were watching <laughs> the teams fighting and brought picnic <laughs> baskets. Um, it wasn't called tailgating, but this is certainly did really happen, and I can't think of anything more American than standing with food and rooting on a war. Uh, it just seems very, very American. Um, there was, uh, again, it wasn't called tailgating yet, but at the first, very first college football game, fans wore the colors of their teams and ate food, drank, and those two national football powerhouses of Rutgers and Princeton um, were playing that first game. But the term first came when uh, Green Bay Packers, people pulled up pickup trucks and sat around and enjoyed food and drink and, and had a good time. And um, the very popular tailgate foods of ham, potato, and custards. <laughs> um, I can't think of anything better than sitting out on a cold fall day and eating custard. Um, things have changed since then. Um, these are a few samplings. Of, this was from one particular college football tailgate in Ohio. And as you can see on the left, they have meatballs, sausage, wings, and mac and cheese. This must have been an early game because the people on the right went for breakfast foods. There's deviled eggs, <laughs> there's a cake, uh, there's candy, there's cream cheese and bagels. So it really is, you know, anyone's guess what you're going to get at a tailgate. Mm -hmm. And here's another one. There's just, I mean, that table on the left. Um, there are, uh, I think there's a ham, 
there's donut holes, uh, there's a cake. Um, so yeah, we're just really worried about our cholesterol, blood pressure, <laughs> and heart while we tailgate. And of course, you must play beer pong um, <laughs> at an outdoor event that is that is necessary. So that was a Notre Dame one that I found. So yes, college football tailgates are huge. They are uh, a very big deal. Um, so let's share some facts about tailgating, which was Homer Simpson's only reason for going to football games. Um, the average tailgater spends more than $500 per year on <laughs> um, Yeah, that's a lot of money. Uh, a third of the people don't even go into the game. Um, I live near Penn State, and I know people that do go up there just to tailgate. People buy RVs just to deck out for their tailgate. Uh, most people are setting up three to four hours before a game, but a good four, almost 40% are out there more than five hours before kickoff. Since <laughs> some American football games, college games start at 8 p.m., yes, there are people who are probably out there at noon, and those probably make up the 30% who don't go into the game because they've passed out by the time the game starts. <laughs> um, and this is... I found this. There is a website called tailgateconcierge.com, and they will <laughs> set you up with all that you need. But look, none of this includes the food. You're going to spend seven hundred <laughs> to twenty two hundred dollars before the food even comes. It's just they're just putting up tents and taking all your money. And bravo to you, capitalist Americans, who figured out <laughs> you could do this to people. Um, and that includes stuff like this. Why, <laughs> why go inside to the game when someone can bring you a big screen television and you can sit out in the parking lot and eat chili dogs for three and a half hours? Because that's how long a college football game takes, three and a half hours. So it does become a huge deal. It is, you know, uh, uh, just a huge social thing. But as we do in America, it never ends well. <laughs> Some people just take it to the extreme. The Buffalo Bills NFL team have a tradition of people jumping off things into tables. Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> and that's the end. Thank you. I'm trying to get out of here. How do I stop? There I go. All right. So, and now we are going to have the British cast. Uh, give a little uh, set based on that. I'm, I'm sorry, officer. When 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 you said you were you were arresting me for tailgating, I assumed it was because I was driving too close to another vehicle, which is my understanding of the term, not the fact that I'm just having a nice picnic by a football match. <laughs> no, that's exactly it. Yes. Yes. Do you have a license? For, for my picnic? Yes. I, I, I'm sorry, I I heard that you were supposed to get one, but the concierge, they charged me too much. I couldn't <laughs> yeah. afford the license. You know, the concierge is there for a reason. Yes, I know. I, I, I know. It's just, you know, I, I've been out of People work for a little while. People have been scamming and... the system, and they yes. have been doing all manner of things that are yes. just not civilised. And this is I'm why sorry. we have the concierge. I'm so sorry. How um, do I know that you've got oysters in your bag? I haven't got oysters in my bag, but what I have got is donut holes. That's a thing, apparently. Donut yes. Holes. <laughs> yes, I assume That's it's a empty. hole of a donut. So do you have a whole donut or you have donut holes? Because donut holes are empty. The very nature of them is a ring. <laughs> Indeed, I, I, they're, they're very, very, very small. Some might say invisible. Hmm. Oh, 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 bribery. You're bribing a oh, police officer. There's nothing there. There's literally, there's nothing. <laughs> I'm going to call for, I'm, I, I, I'm, I, need, I need a superior officer. I'm, I'm oh. going to find you. Stay right where you are. Li I'll let you lady. jump on my table. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you bloody donut hole <laughs> <laughs> you buffalo wing yourself 
oh, all right, all right, sorry. It's it's just this this has been my pitch for years, and and here I come. I I, th- I thought I thought I could leave it late this year, so I've turned up only seven hours before the start of the game. And what do I find? Okay, well, you're not the only one who can sell a Terry's chocolate orange, are you? So watch this space. I'm gonna do this justice. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. You're gonna you're gonna do it like some kind of amateur, or are you gonna bring out the dark chocolate Terry's chocolate orange? Open oh, up, is... open up, it's the police. <laughs> <laughs> no one show no, 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 right? <laughs> no, no. I've had reports um, that there are unlicensed resales <clears throat> of Terry's chocolate oranges in this premises. Care to explain yourselves? I've I've not heard anything of the sort. Oh, I've, no. I, I, me and the concierge are like that. Best yeah. of house. Mm. Yeah, concierge. I've, oh, I've. He's my brother. Yeah. You, you there, you with, with with the blue shirt. I know that we've got Sarah's help not having very good teeth, but those are very brown teeth you've got there. <laughs> Give us a whiff of your, whiff of your breath. <laughs> Come on. My nose is ready. <gasps> That's orange. No, That's no it's not. It's, it's my natural scent. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Father, I- I'm so glad it's finally winter time so we can eat our custard in the cold. <laughs> Just how it's supposed to be. <laughs> yes. When we had to eat it in the summer, I felt physically unwell. You can't eat custard in the summer. It goes no. with a hot, hot pud. We all know this. <laughs> yes, I love it with a hot, hot pud. Please may I have some more spotted dick? Because you are so politely, Thank there you. goes nothing. I'm and still here with a steamed sponge and a little oh, toffee father, sauce. You're so traditional. Do you never crave a knickerbocker glory? <laughs> that language is not appropriate in this outside of our house. I'm so sorry. I mean, there's there's at least two phrases there that I can't even comprehend. <laughs> I'm so so sorry, Father. Please do forgive me. That's okay. But in this house, we call mm-hmm. that a large ice cream. That is fruit, not whatever <laughs> tapacious language you call that. A large ice cream, which is fruit and underwear. <laughs> Madam, you're on thin ice, and I don't mean the cream variety. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Wait. the sugar. <laughs> Oh, try and turn my camera off. Okay. <laughs> I say, George, those Germans over there, they look like they're going to put up a good fight. Care to wager? <laughs> wager? Wager yes, against yes. the crown? You want me to bet on. on whether or not we're going to be Jerry? Surely there's, <laughs> there's no question about it. Oh, you are on thin me. ice, Sergeant. Come on, have a wager. Three shillings. Where's three a ranking shillings. pile soldier like you got three shillings from, eh? <laughs> oh, I do like a wager. I do like a wager. All right. Three shillings. Sorry now. I said gambling in the trenches. It's not a euphemism. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, of course not. Right. Three shillings, his rifle jams. No. Oh. oh, well, it if it's that kind of wager. Uh, well, um, you know what? You know what? I'm, I never gamble, so I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to put half a crown on Christmas Day. We all just stop fighting and play football for some reason. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Don't say such things. No, no, you're right. OK, OK, <laughs> forget it. Um, um, no, no, say that. Say the bet. No, no, you've talked me out of it. Uh, sixpence on uh, the trenches giving way and they all fall down to hell. <laughs> that sounds more <laughs> like it. Sweet. More like it.
<laughs> I think the best part about a sports game is not watching it. Yes, <laughs> I love it when we only watch a maximum of 30% of the sports game. <laughs> I just don't want to know where the ball is. Otherwise, it's not a surprise when the tennis player hits it. <laughs> Absolutely not. I like the element of surprise at all times. Did you see something? For a second, I thought I did. Thank goodness I didn't. <laughs> the only thing that's troubling me slightly is... Oh! Oh. oh. People appear to be supportive. Um... Hooray! Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah! What, what? <laughs> oh. Oh. The thing is, I, I, I really want to eat some of this disgusting brown food that we've laid out in front oh. of us. But I can't with these hands like this. Well, you've got to make a choice. Are you happy to watch the game or happy to go hungry? <laughs> could be honest, I, could... I could do both if required. Yes, me too. Could I not just close my eyes and plunge my head in? Oh, go on then. There's a mac and cheese right in front of you. Do your worst. Oh, oh, oh. oh and scene. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yes. Just stick your head right in the mac and cheese. You'll be well. That, <laughs> you'll be works, giving right? your. That is a requirement for a green card, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So let's attempt once more the magic of Zoom to see if I can share my screen. Everyone keep your fingers crossed for me. We're going in. Oh, oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Can we see it? Can we see yes! it? Yeah! <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> okay, we're really good. This is good. Um, slideshow from the beginning. Okay, I've slightly spoiled this, but here we go. So falling over, <laughs> that was the joke. <laughs> this is what I fell over in, in the street near work. A Battenberg cake. <laughs> that was what was on the floor that made me fall over. Um, I've also fallen over in the street again near work, just because I took my coat off. Um, <laughs> It was like 98% less sexy than this picture when it happened. Um, but you know, it's a stock photo. So when Brian said fall, I don't think this is what he actually meant. I think what he actually meant and what is correct is this. <laughs> it's autumn, isn't it? It's autumn. British autumn traditions. Um, we have quite a few actually, the more I thought about it. So uh, one of the ones that we have that happens in like end of September, beginning of October is Harvest Festival. Um, so this definitely had this at primary school, like in the younger years at school. Uh, and it was traditionally to celebrate the harvest coming in and everybody would join in and then it became more of a religious thing. Uh, and it would be a lavish feast with all of the wonderful harvest goods. Um, that was the idea behind it in olden times. What it actually was, I think, at my primary school, in all honesty, was this. My mum just getting rid of fish paste. That's what it was. <laughs> So you'd have to bring in like a bring in stuff from your cupboards to give to the harvest. And I think people just used it as a, you know, as a way of getting rid of stuff in the back of their cupboards that they didn't want anymore. Um, and in my mind as a child, I bought so much fish, kind of fish paste into school, but I don't remember us ever eating fish paste. <laughs> so I don't know if she specifically bought it for the harvest festival. Um, maybe it was a thing. Uh, but that's Harvest Festival. So the idea being you're celebrating like the bounty of autumn. Uh, another thing that's a really, really big thing I would say in Britain in autumn is this. Oh, clock changing confusion. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is coming up next Sunday. Um, it's awful for us, particularly in the world of online improv, but, but it is happening. Um, I was looking at the reasons behind it and they're quite complex actually, but essentially this bastard is to blame, uh, William <laughs> Willett, <laughs> um, who decided he campaigned for it to advance the clocks at the beginning of spring and summer months and then return in the autumn because he wanted to encourage people to get out of bed earlier in summer. I mean, there's so many hungover people in Britain who would hate this man. <laughs> uh, it's, it's to do with farming and things as well, I think. Uh, so that is the clocks. <laughs> uh, if that's triggered you in any way, please do take this time to have a very um, watery cup of tea. Uh, <laughs> if you need that little break, please do that right now. 
uh, and then we will move on to uh, Halloween. <laughs> Um, I love Halloween. I do love autumn, actually. Uh, some things that we do. I don't think Halloween's as big a thing in the UK necessarily as it is in America, but it is still pretty big. Uh, we have pumpkin carving. Uh, we have trick or treating around the houses, or generally we do, and spooky costumes. Uh, generally, they tend to be traditional kind of ghosts and ghouls rather than all the amazing costumes I've seen in America. But yeah, spooky costumes. Um, pumpkin carving. <laughs> Uh, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, I tried it last year. Uh, I was trying to go for something a bit like this to kind of reenact the beauty of it. Um, in my parents' village, they even had a competition. So everyone put the pumpkins outside their house and then there was an overall winner. And I was thinking, oh, wasn't that great? That looks easy. I can do that. Um, that was the reality. <laughs> From this to this. <laughs> um, please, can you note how I've try to stick some felt to it as a last resort just to kind of differentiate the windows from the door um so <laughs> i'm not sure i'll be trying pumpkin carving again uh, <laughs> um there's also a lot to do with lovely costumes spooky costumes um and i think like there's a thing for like women where it's like oh what are you going for halloween oh i'm gonna go as a sexy sexy witch um that kind of thing i've never done that one costume <laughs> that i have worn on 14 separate occasions and generally not for any reason i'm about to show you it this first photo is blurry but the reason it's blurry is because it kind of captured me in motion popping up in my sister's kitchen wearing this costume for no reason it was a birthday party but it wasn't fancy dress <laughs> here we go uh so <laughs> it's a giant prawn it's a giant prawn i've worn it on 14 separate occasions um so this would be my halloween costume of choice um here i am again uh, flying for a show. It was actually really useful to wear it whilst flying for a show because I think people just felt sorry for me. So they took the flyers. Uh, and then with my dad, look how proud he is of me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> look at his disappointed eyes. It's like all his dreams came true that day. <laughs> so that is my take on Halloween costumes. Uh, then we move on to bonfire night um which again i had to kind of look at all the history of but essentially we're looking at the um the gunpowder plot at the houses of parliament uh and the um yeah the execution of guy fawkes so when i was a kid growing up i certainly knew that people did this penny for the guy thing but i don't think they actually did it in my generation but they would make a guy a guy fawkes big dummy thing and go around the houses doing penny for a guy and trying to get money for it and then burn it on a bonfire <laughs> which is really <laughs> twisted. Um, and here's some photos I've found of people doing that from ye olde times. I mean, that's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm assuming those kids didn't make this gigantic guy forks, but I don't know. Um, and it gets worse. I mean, <laughs> literally terrifying, isn't it? And then imagine <laughs> that burning. Um, and finally this one, which actually, when I looked at it initially, going on there uh so those are kind of a whirlwind uh, tour through our autumn tradition so it is the end it is tea time if you'd like to have like a cinnamon flavored biscuit with your tea to celebrate autumn please do feel free mm -hmm. uh, and can i welcome on the american cast please <laughs> Um, I've already given you the grocery list. I just need you to add canned oysters onto there, please. <laughs> We're not going to oh. eat them. It, it's for the food drive coming up at church. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say we never eat canned oysters, but you want yeah. me to get them. Okay. The thing about the food drive is we're supposed to be like helping people. Why don't we get them like uh, mac oh, and I know. cheese? I know. Vienna sausages, right? Like the hot dogs in a can. Put that on there. No, yeah. No, what I mean, I think people would they like mac and cheese or maybe like peaches, like canned peaches, something that tastes really Sorry. good. I just I'm I'm just feeling really I had to go check the, the pantry. I'm feeling okay. really antsy. Um spam. Can you put spam on there? Okay. Listen, can product, yeah. It's it's the the it's not just you don't get a good it isn't a good deed if you just participate. You have to put your heart into it. You have to really try. Don't get the generic spam. Get the 
Sweet, sweet, sweet. sweet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 everyone, uh, wake up. It is me, William Willett, with a proclamation. Everyone, wake up. Wake up. Uh, wake up, you lazy good for nothings. What? what? It's, it's, it is too it's, early. Yeah, it's too early. I do hereby proclaim that the day shall start an hour earlier than before. You're so oh, Jesus Christ. What? Why? I'm, I was in the middle of a good dream. I was, it was like. You'll sleep was... your life away while the Americans are three times as productive as we are. Oh, my God. Look, I, I had a, I typed <laughs> one on last night. I can't handle this. It's too loud. Listen to me. <laughs> you shall not sleep the summers away, my friend. You shall <laughs> wake up early with the dawn, with the roosters as the cock crows, and you shall seize the day. Listen, the Americans won. Can't we just, just let them have this and-, and Oh, we'll... they not only won, they gave us such an ass beating. Yes. <laughs> but... Speaking of ass beating, it's something I want to do to you for waking yeah. me up. Well, listen to me, you are the reasons why. The... Monarchy no longer rules the world. We were once the greatest superpower <laughs> this planet had ever seen. But you instead sleep the day away and wake up in the morning. In the did morning. You, did you say something? I was yawning. I didn't really hear you. I was... yeah. All right. You know what? Just for that, two hours. Two hours. <laughs> See, That's right. <laughs> I proclaim it. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, um, Mister. I uh, I made this big thing. Can you give me a nickel? No. <laughs> <laughs> let me. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't. Let me get a good look at it. Can you pull it into the street light just a little bit? Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> yeah. Okay. What is that? It's uh, it's. <laughs> <laughs> no, push it back in the dark. Push it back in the dark. Okay, please. okay, okay. okay. Would you make, what is that? Why would you make that? Um, that's uh, is a bad man who tried to. <laughs> can you just give me a nickel? Can I just get a nickel? I just need a nickel. I'll give you a nickel if you'll go and burn that thing and take it away. Ooh, I didn't think of that. I just thought you'd give me. I was just trying to make money. Oh, give yeah. me a nickel. <laughs> Come on, come on. Look, what's your I, Venmo? I will cash I, up you right now. Oh, yeah. I'm nine, so I have matches handy just to burn this. <laughs> Bro, you are disturbed. Okay? okay? This is not natural. No. It just moved. I just... Uh, it's it's Burning. eyes follow me wherever I go. <laughs> nickels. I'm going to get so many nickels. Okay. Bro, it's, there's so many more ways, better ways to make money, okay? I should have asked more people for nickels and not just one person before I burned it. That really was a bad strategy. I'm just realizing I got to go make another guy. Scene. <laughs> so, of course, it makes perfect sense that because they were trying to take over the gunpowder that we're going to celebrate it every year with like a gunpowder show or fireworks, <laughs> whatever. A, a, a gunpowder show? That's I mean, that's like... basically what fireworks are. I don't know what to yeah. They explode. <laughs> so we're going to celebrate by doing the thing we didn't like that they were doing. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, yes. yes. This is I awesome. like that. I yes. think every time we celebrate mm -hmm. something, Mm -hmm. The way we do it should be like, here's the thing we didn't like. Okay, <laughs> let's do more of it, but mm -hmm. just today. Unseen. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> it just clicked when she said it. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Very really true. Um, so let's get the whole cast back on now for our last section, which will be a living room uh, format where we are going to discuss some of the burning questions that there might be um, about our two cultures. Uh, so for this first one is for Brian, Dan, Millie and Vanessa. Uh, what suggestions have we got, Brian, for this? Um, I like this one. The original question was, do you trick or treat? And that's already been answered. 
Okay. Um, but I'm kind of combining two questions, that one with another one, which is what is the worst candy to get trick or treating in your country? <laughs> oh. This is a hot uh, topic. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know around here there are some people who will give like um, fruit or even to <laughs> toothbrushes. They will give you toothbrushes <laughs> instead of candy. Yeah. Because um, they think you're going to be like, oh, you're you're nine, and you're going to be like, oh yeah, that oh I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've I've heard of people uh, giving out fruit to trick or treaters over here. Uh, Vanessa, have you ever been trick or treating? So I, I never went. So Ooh. you might be more. Oh, gosh, yeah, a long, oh. a long time ago. Um, not in my adult and life. And oh, did you ever? Did you get good sweets or bad sweets? Oh my god decent sweets do you know what? there was always a rumor of, i'll go to this place they have the full size snickers mm -hmm. bars mm -hmm. because it's always ever, only ever fun size yes yeah fun it's size really fun size versions of giving out money what as well yeah Ooh. yeah i've heard of that too i've never done it we we just get the small the small candy bars and yeah. give them away but yeah there's mm. i actually live a block away from like in my, my town loves halloween it's crazy. And a block away is one of the hottest streets to trick or treat. And one <laughs> house, so my daughter's grown, so I don't know if they do it anymore, but one house, they would bring in like a popcorn machine. What? And they'd, have, they'd make fresh popcorn. Wow. So you weren't getting like crap co uh, popcorn mm -hmm. ball. That popcorn was like, balls. They were giving you fresh hot popcorn <laughs> that you could eat while you walk. And they give it to the parents too. It was, it was great. <laughs> uh, where I grew up, there were, we we had, the houses were separate, single family homes. Uh, but I used to beg to go and uh, trick or treat in my friend's neighborhood because they were uh, row houses, so there were homes that were stuck together. So there, yeah. you could more bang for your buck, quantity over quality. <laughs> uh, and like I remember my parents being mortified. I asked for a uh, pillowcase. And they were like, that's ridiculous. And I'm like, nah, I'll fill it up. <laughs> no, that year it didn't matter what candy I got because there was so much. <laughs> did you know, it's, it's funny because, um, did you know, it's, it's funny because, um, uh, what is it? Um, we have kind of an opposite thing where people don't do trick or treating as much, but we're all very worried about our houses getting egged mm. and vandalized. So yes. what a lot of people do is just sit at home in the dark it's like, let's pretend not to be in. Make sure the lights off. Don't watch the telly. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I took From part in egging. Old. I took part in eggings once when I was like in probably seventh or eighth grade, and I did. I I did not enjoy the experience. I was scared the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> so I I think we got enough to go with the job. <laughs> So I don't want to speak too soon, but I don't think that I've heard about anybody throwing eggs around. It's it's not even close to Halloween. You're, you're so worried about this that you've set up basically being a, 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 a 24 hour surveillance three <laughs> weeks before Halloween. That ring doorbell that they didn't they put on me has not done anything. My windows were just cleaned. Oh my gosh. Again, I, I think you might be a little more worried about it than it actually happened. You know, I mean, I don't I don't think anybody's been egged on this street as long as I've lived here. What would you know? You're a new build. You you've just you've just turned up. <laughs> you've been here for six months. It's not even mm. like egging season. Knock, knock, knock. Egg knock, knock, knock. I mean, there's someone at the door. Just, you, this is where the full size candy bars are. They better be. <laughs> I mean, he wants my full size candy bars. I, I guess give them to him. We don't want to be egg, do we? Listen. Mm. I just came in. The door was open. My parents okay. own a farm. I have lots of fresh eggs. Oh they never run out. So you better pay up. Uh. <laughs> Are you threatening us with with eggs? Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! What is that? Alexa, is that home is, invasion? Is a, a home invasion? I'm 
I'm 11. I'm not invading. I'm just coming to get candy. Nothing with coconut in it. Nothing, <laughs> you know. Yeah, take it. Take all the. Yeah, get all those. Get rid of the mounds and the almond joy. There we go. You, you know what? Hold on. I'm pretty certain I've got some uh, some fish paste in the pantry for you. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Joe. <laughs> Sweep. <laughs> We've got a problem. <laughs> got a giant problem. Yes. I've brought my best, my best team in to solve <laughs> this spate of people going around throwing chickens at properties. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, actual chickens? Not actual just the eggs? Actual chickens. Oh no. Oh, gosh. There, there was a space of egg throwing last year, and I'm fairly sure there will be again next year. But this is a year for chicken throwing. Yeah, bacock, we, need to, we need to stop this before they get onto the turkeys next year. Did, did, did you hear? I heard, I heard it. Yes. It, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. The turkeys are early. The turkeys are early. Oh, my goodness. They're, they're going to Turkey the police station. Oh. I mean, should we throw eggs back? Does, how, do, how does one combat That's turkey cruel. eggs? That is very cruel. We're not, we're not going to throw <laughs> Did you hear a mooing? Hold on. Yeah. They've completely yeah. moved on from birds to other oh. livestock? They've, they've moved on. This is not the time for jokes. I think we're about to be assaulted with the entire contents of Old MacDonald's farm. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's verse three, the pig. Yes. Yeah, we, 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 we don't mention the word pig around the police station. It, it, it's quite <laughs> offensive. Scene, scene. <laughs> scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I have a, I have a, uh, I have a confession to make. I hope you won't judge me on this, but I've, I've never worn a costume. Never. I've never. I've never dressed up. I've always just been who I am. I've never, never been able to. to but how? And I, how can you truly discover who you are without a costume? I, I just lived. I didn't live somewhere where people wore costumes, and I thought it was normal. And then I got out into the world, and I saw people putting hats on and. Makeup. You've never and worn a hat. I've never worn a hat. <laughs> My friend. I, I, your poor head. <laughs> oh. Tag, keep what? down. Have you got a confession to make? Tell you. Yes. I hope you're not going to look poorly upon me for this. Um, I like candy corn. <laughs> you I, like I like it. Candy. Yes, it, it's, it's a bit sweet. It doesn't really taste well, much. Well, it's kind of chewy. Have you never eaten anything else? I don't want anything else. I don't like the thin mints. I don't like the almond joys, the butter fingers. Oh, don't get me started on them. Candy corn. You know, it just it fits in your pocket. <laughs> and I know that it's, well, it's very controversial, but... You know what else fits in your pocket? Corn. Fun size Snickers. <laughs> tag tag <laughs> out Vanessa, keep Dan. I'm very nervous to tell you. Uh, you should I be. Don't, I don't, I don't want to get any candy. I'm only hoping that I get toothbrushes <laughs> and turn of the century pennies. <laughs> and see. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Could I get the rest of the cast on? Um, awesome. Yeah, Ryan and Kale. Uh, so we are now going to do our section of the living room. Um, Ryan, could I ask, is there another burning question for us? Yes. What American regional accent is the most incomprehensible to people in the, U people in the UK? Ooh. Wow. That's the the problem with this question genuinely is I don't know if I can identify which region. Are you saying <laughs> we all sound from. the same? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> like. Okay. Yeah. That's really... <laughs> I, 
I mean, I, I mean, there's two variants to me that immediately pop to mind of making it more difficult. Mm. Uh, and one is just very, very fast, which I think might come with New York particularly. Yeah. But like anyone who speaks so fast, you're like, yeah. well, especially especially if using kind of regional dialect and that sort of thing. I'm mm. off. Um, and then Forget I guess about it. I'm walking away. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> uh, so uh, um, and maybe I mean, a, maybe a kind of more deep south southern accent. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Cajun, like because uh, you get into like it's a got French along with it, uh-huh. so it's a, uh, like a really deep southern, but also with some French in there. So mm. woo we sure do no count. No, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> what about you, Kel? What about are there any British accents you can't understand? I'm sorry, what did you say, Sarah? I, I was really about to back with a bit. It just sounded like oh, Papa, Papa's bangers and mash. That's all I heard. <laughs> that is what she said. <laughs> that is all I say to be fair. <laughs> no, they, uh, I, I know that they're more distinct, but you know, there's Liverpudlian. And then mm-hmm. um, <laughs> my favorite line from the Ted Lasso show, which is giving Americans a, a the the one true view of all things uh, British, but is uh, how many countries are in this country? Like, <laughs> <laughs> got Wales and you got uh, uh, all that, that in there, so. Yeah, and cause it's a really small country, but I feel like if I drove an hour away from where I live, there would be a different accent. Like it seems to be that quick that the accents change. Yeah, I don't know uh, what it is. I think it's, I think that's specific to the UK though, that like just the dialects. Yeah. I remember the movie, My Fair Lady, Mm-hmm. which is the other way that I get all my uh, information about the UK. <laughs> yeah, he would talk about like how he could pinpoint what neighborhood people came from by. Uh, by yeah. Person. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So <laughs> I there, think there, we've, sorry. Go for I was going to say there, there are maps of the UK that uh, divide the UK based on certain words that they would say. Yes, so yeah. for like a piece of bread, what would you call that? And there's there's maps of the UK that show whether it's a bread roll or a bat yeah. or a bun yeah. or a bar or, or a bread cake or and there's there's about twenty different roll, a tea, there's twenty different rolls for it uh, yeah. words for bread roll. Yeah, uh, or and, um, wood lice I've seen like people call wood lice all different things, don't they? Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, so it, there's so much variation. It's great. <laughs> so yeah. I think we've got more than enough to get us started, haven't we? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Um, and I was with a cup of tea. <laughs> I don't think we can do a nice cup of tea. You can't talk to me. I can't talk to you. You are not no way the way we gonna go. You gonna go the way we better. <laughs> and then, where did we go? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a boulder hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I'm so sorry. I uh I'm gonna I'm gonna have to I I don't understand I'm not from here, I'm from somewhere else, and I I couldn't understand a word that you were saying. Oh awfully sorry, I don't understand you. Yeah, I'm, just make slowly. I'm just yeah please you could really slow i'm just i'm trying to find the american embassy and i'm in a, a lot of trouble my uh, life yeah. is literally in danger oh, so me. if you could just tell me the quickest way to the american embassy left <laughs> left i go left is that is that right? <laughs> okay. I don't think it's that right. Oh, no, he's he's, it's not left. Okay. I actually worked on that being bank. I took my free potatoes out for one while. No! I don't know. I don't know. Are you okay? You're going you okay to die. All right. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I caught that last part there. I understood that. <laughs> How about if I start moving in a certain direction and you just tell me if I'm getting hot or cold? Hmm. Huh. Oh. 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 I'm sorry, are you oh. saying call? Oh. 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 I'm hot. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> yeah, I can see you're eating yourself a lovely bap there. <laughs> It's a bun, you mind. It's a bun. Oh, that's not a bun there. That's a lovely, lovely bap. Look at it. It's a bun. Hey, go to fit of our stirs. That's not a bun. That's a bap. You wouldn't know a bap if it hit you in the face. This is a bun, I tell hey. you. A bun. Hey, what you got there? Is it a biscuit? Hey, <laughs> by come. It's a South African. It looks... <laughs> A biscuit? Hey. You think this is a biscuit? I'd say this is a bun. Hey, it right looks like a biscuit to me. Oh, a biscuit. <laughs> oh, well, I think I'm going to have to come over there and kick both your asses. <laughs> asses? I hope you don't mean, you mean asses. Don't you mean me arse? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean your buttocks. Well, right. these parts, we call them your bum bum bums. <laughs> you do not now. Yeah, your bum or bum occasionally buns. your buns. Your bu uh. My mom used to call it a bunghole. <laughs> yeah. You know, Nobody I really enjoy these cultural talks that we all have. Mm. <laughs> it really helps me understand. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, one second while I go microwave my tea. Oh no! Right, I'm coming to get you. Oh, oh, oh. This business right. deal is over. <laughs> Listen, I don't want you marrying my daughter. <laughs> I'm sorry. You seem like a good lad, but. I won't have it. Any reason? Yeah, uh, yeah. You're not good enough for her. <laughs> I'm not good enough. Oh, you're not good enough because you're not from around here. <laughs> I'm, you're from I'm, two counties over. I'm, and we I'm know what those people are like, don't we? Yeah. They've got brilliant Halloween decorations, don't we? Oh, they, oh, <laughs> they rub the Halloween decorations in our face. That's <laughs> right. They're so high and mighty. They're so posh with the orange and reds and yellows. Yeah. They're yeah, full-size candy bars. <laughs> Have you ever seen a smaller stickers? No, not where you are, because <laughs> everything is so small. <laughs> We're good people of the earth, all right? We only give up popcorn and things that we can grow here <laughs> well bring it bring it bring her over to the consumerist we've got oh loads. dad will you not let me get married now will you not oh, doctor <laughs> come on now no. there he's a lovely lad i don't doubt that he's a lovely lad but he's not good enough for my kin have you seen the size of his snickers now I think I think the size of the Snickers is all we're gonna have time for here today. <laughs> never know. Can we get the whole cast on, please? <laughs> oh, this was, was so much fun. It was so much fun. Yes, thank you everybody so much for watching. Um, we'll be back again probably next yes. month. I'm imagining. Yes. Yes, uh, we will be back next month. The dates are somewhere in a spreadsheet. I will send them. Um, <laughs> I do, I do want to thank Ryan, Kale, and uh, Millie for, yes. for stepping in. We had uh, oh, lots of conflicts. People, <laughs> Sarah, Dan, Vanessa, and I do not have lives. And <laughs> the, the other people who have performed on this show apparently are getting them. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, it's bothersome, and I'm trying to do two <laughs> things at once here, uh, but it looks like it's not needed. Anyway, um, yeah, so we will be back next month. Uh, uh, the season five schedule will be coming out soon. We're very excited for awesome. that.